Well, I'm very excited to show you Windows 10 today. With Windows 10, we're giving the world a more personal operating system. You're going to notice a lot of familiar aspects. And whether you're coming from Windows 7 or 8 or 8.1, we brought some of our most popular user features and updated them here. We're also building this alongside 2.8 million Windows users who are part of our Windows Insider program. And so a lot of the changes and updates you're seeing are results of direct user feedback that we get every day from these users. So the first thing that you're going to notice is that your familiar Windows 7 start menu is back. If you're coming from Windows 7, this is not a jarring experience at all. Now, if you're coming from Windows 8, you'll see we've brought live tiles to the Windows 10 start menu. These are completely customizable here. Now, you can resize them very easily. You can rearrange them however you like. They dynamically adapt to give you the information from directly within the app right to the surface of your screen. So you can see weather, news, sports, social media updates. It's totally customizable to your taste, so you can make that personal. Now, if you're coming from Windows 8 and you love the full screen start menu, we leave you that option as well. You can completely customize the area here. You can customize the size here to make it a really personal space for you. Now, with Windows 8, what a lot of people don't know is we actually had our highest user satisfaction on a touch device. But it wasn't really optimized for mouse and keyboard. And so a couple of issues that our users had in transitioning to the other operating system, we've addressed here. So now your modern apps operate in Windows. It's very easy to snap them. They scale really beautifully. And they really dynamically adapt to fit whatever real estate you give them. Now, this Photos app is one of our universal apps. And universal apps allow developers to write an app once, and it runs across multiple Windows devices. Now, it is optimized for the size of the screen that it's on, but I'm going to show you what it looks like today on our Windows 10 phone. So you can see here just how similar they are for a user. I don't need to learn to use an app four different ways now. It's super intuitive for me. And again, it's optimized for the size of the screen that it's on. Also, as Windows 10 operates in the cloud, your apps and your notifications will sync across your devices. So when I delete an app here, it'll be reflected here as well, because Windows 10 is one common core across multiple devices. We have made a few updates to our most popular features. So I mentioned Snap, which is one of our most popular features from Windows 7. Um, now, when you want to manually resize, you know, I used to manually resize my windows all the time. Um, snap to the middle and, and adjust them. So now Snap will automatically and intuitively fill whatever space you give it. And especially on such a big monitor, I love this. Um, we have added a feature called Snap Assist. So now I snap and the other open programs on my desktop automatically show up here to make it really easy for me to multitask. But if I am on especially a monitor this size and I want to have more than two windows open at a time, your desktop programs will snap to corners now. And imagine on such a large two monitor setup, how many windows that can be. Also, Snap now recognizes the inside edge of your monitor. So on a multiple monitor setup, you can snap to the inside and outside of your screen. So roughly 5% of Windows users know about a feature called Alt-Tab, but we've actually added an even better button to your task bar. So now I have an icon here called Task View. And now I can see all of the open windows on this desktop. They also maintain a similar orientation that they had. It's very easy for me to visually recognize what I'm looking for. This is also where you access multiple desktops. So here you can see I have a whole other desktop running. I have other programs open. And it's very easy for me with a keyboard shortcut to navigate between them all. So with a keyboard shortcut, it's very easy for, you, for me to navigate. And my windows maintain the same orientation. It doesn't break my workflow at all. We've updated the visuals a little bit. So you can see it's a little different. It's still there. Um, but it's very easy to access either through the keyboard shortcut or here on my taskbar. Now I can show you a little bit about what this looks like on one of our two-in-one devices. So this is a Surface Pro 3. It's an excellent two-in-one device. We've made a really heavy investment in two-in-one devices that combine mouse and keyboard and tablet mode. It's very easy to detach the keyboard. I get this toast notification, and now I'm in tablet mode. It is optimized for touch. Everything goes full screen. The touch is super, super responsive. I can still snap. And now, in Windows 10, your desktop programs, you can close them by dragging them down. Also, we have some great swipe gestures here. So you can swipe in from the left, and I get my task view button. 
right? Same as I had on the desktop, same with the shortcut. Um, also, if I swipe in from the right, we have added a new notifications menu. So we've upgraded the charms bar from Windows 8 to a full-on notifications menu. What's excellent about this is I can actually reply in line to my notifications. So when I get emails, I can, I can reply very quickly there. In utilizing Windows 10 as one common core across multiple devices, you can see now on my phone just how familiar this is. Now again, it's optimized for the size of the screen it's on, so the visuals are a little different, but these quick actions are the same that I'm used to using here. And because Windows 10 lives in the cloud, your notifications will sync across multiple devices. One of the things that I love that we've upgraded is our settings menu on our phone now. So you can see my settings menu here and here. These are the same icons and things are stored in the same places. So it's so much more intuitive for me. If I know how to use Windows 10 on my computer, I know how to use it on my phone. It's a much easier transition and much more familiar for users across the board. Uh, now, let's say that I want to return to more of a keyboard orientation. I simply reattach and enter tablet mode. But what I love is that we give you an option here in your quick actions. If you want to be in tablet that way, it's not specific to the keyboard. You get to choose what works best for you. Now, one of the things that I really love that we've also added to the phone it's a small change, but it makes my life so much easier, is now your most recently installed apps go to the top of your app list in a holding area, and they stay there until you interact with them the first time. So you don't have to remember what app you just downloaded. You don't have to search through your list to find it. Uh, a lot of people are very excited with the fact that we have added Cortana to the PC. Cortana is the most personal digital assistant. She only knows what you want her to know, and we believe in complete transparency. So we actually have a notebook here where you can access all of the information she's gathered about you and you can control how she uses that information. Um, this is still an early build and so we're letting our uh, 2.8 million users test her out and really, uh, really see what she can do. We're hoping to add so many more features there, but she's already fantastic. When I was booking my flight to come to Mobile World Congress, she saw that I had flight information in my email and she said, would you like, to, would you like me to track this flight? And I said, yes. When I had to leave for the airport, she popped up a no notification because she has access to the internet. She knew that traffic was gonna be really bad and she said, you should probably leave for your flight now. It's really great. And she can also help me find files across my computer, which is excellent. And I'm excited to see what more we bring to her across the phone and the tablet for the Windows 10 experience. So as you can see, we've got a lot of excellent features that we've uh, updated from both Windows 7 and 8. So I'm excited to see what comes out in later builds, but for now that's our latest public build of Windows 10.